Welcome to another episode, Cloud Automation Unlimited Season. Today, well, right now, it's Data-Driven Problem Remediation, the power of webhooks for site reliability engineers. I'm back, back with Rob, and I'm saying back because if you have, if this is the first one you see, also check out the one we just uh, did on uh, automating your multi-stage delivery using Dynatrix Cloud Automation. Rob, thank you so much for being back. Yeah, thank you, Andy. Yeah, we're super excited. This is um, you know really showcasing a, a new module of Dynatrace that is called Cloud Automation, which encompasses quite a few features from you know release management um, and in managing what's what's in your environment, service levels, and really around uh, integrating to tooling, which is what we're talking about today. So, trying to uh, put in place um, a way to have data driven decisions using the the Davis AI engine to speed up uh, MTTR when it comes to resolving problems. So today we're going to showcase how we can integrate with a number of tools. Um, and that's really the whole goal of, of, of uh, cloud automation is that we're taking the power of Dynatrace mm -hmm. and leveraging the investments that you already have in a lot of great, a lot of great platforms that are out there. So mm -hmm. um, we're excited to show uh, and, and how we're trying to solve this problem. So maybe we'll jump into the problem, which is um, you know a lot of time being spent to triage issues. So this is kind of a core Dynatrace capability um, that we're helping diagnose problems, but by combining that with you know, service levels being violated, combining that with individual um, knowledge of what releases is where, we're going to help you know, pinpoint the problem quickly. And then we wanna tie it into um, the tool that actually did the deployment itself. And then when we have a problem, we want to you know, quickly flow that through some automated flow. So in, really the goal is to eliminate these highly manual uh, processes, because all these things that we're seeing out with customers is, you know, there's a lot of time, um, you know, triaging things, um, you know, still people are coming together, you know, from with their different tools to try to get that kind of single view on the system. And then when we when it comes to fixing things, there's still the kind of traditional processes to manually deploy code or manually roll something back. And, and really, that's what we're trying to trying to solve. So Andy, I don't know if you want to add a yeah. little color to that. Yeah, I just want to add one piece of color to it because in the previous session, you showed us how you created a Jira ticket and kind of like it's a self-service model where the Jira ticket itself created by a developer was triggering the delivery flow. In this case, you are showing us how a detected problem in Dynatrace is then triggering a flow of events that interacts with different tools. And this is exactly what you said, right? We know that our customers have different tools, different projects, different teams are using different tools, or you have different tools in sequence. And the challenging thing is how can you really build uh, and orchestrate them along the way of you know, notifying people, trying to fix the problem in a way, notifying people about the result and then going on. And I think with cloud automation, we are really helping our users here to connect all of these tools to really in an automated way, react to problems and hopefully in the best case scenario, automatically fix the issue. But without our customers having to connect the tools themselves, we are basically taking our observability data and then we are driving orchestration based on the data we have and we're connecting to all of your tools through open standards. Now, this is enough said. Rob, I want to see it live because I know you have a great yeah, demo. Yeah, so I will. Yeah, so we're going to jump to the live, but I'm going to show you just really, you know, this shouldn't be new to anybody, but this is a typical flow. And so from a governance standpoint, we're trying to achieve this where the challenge comes is, you know, when you have, you know, 100 development teams, you know, or you acquired a new company, or, you know, you decided to change ticketing tools. So you still want to hit this same kind of flow. And ultimately, you want to, re, re, you know, automate run books, but the challenge is, is that tool integration. So we're, we're trying to show that today with kind of this flow. We're going to just do a simple, simple example of, you know, Dynatrace detecting a problem with Davis. And then instead of just going directly to an email or, or something like that, we're going to flow it into the cloud automation sequence. And that will help, you know, create a, a, a standard way of orchestrating, a standard way of auditing uh, things that are going on. So we're going to show making a ticket. So the, the integration will show is really just with, with web hooks out to a tool. So whether you're using Zendesk or if you're using ServiceNow or you're using Jira, it's really the same mechanism to say, hey, let's open up a ticket. Um, then we want to notify our team. So we want to say, you know, th this team is using Slack. So let's send them something on Slack. This team is using an email. We'll send them an email. So this is where we really want to notify our teams. And then as we get into remediations, um, and this is going to be, you know, an another upcoming video where we talk about, um, you know, automated remediation 
flows, we may have something like, you know, let's turn this feature off real quickly. You know, we saw a problem, let's, let's, um, let's disable it. Let's roll, you know, it could be a deployment. Let's redeploy the previous version of the code. So whatever remediation you want to do, we want to also, you know, likely drive that automation um, as well as evaluating things. So if I evaluate it, if I performed a change, let's, let's evaluate that it did it. Or, you know, in the case of kind of the crawl, walk, run model, your, your incident may just be gather more data. So you may just want to help speed up that, that process of gathering. So if everything you do, as soon as a ticket's open, hey, let's go look at the logs, let's go look at this. Well, automate that. So get the ticket, gather data, update your ticket with that information. That's a huge value in of itself. So uh, with that said, let's, uh, let's jump into demo. So, uh, you know, get, our, get your blue glasses on this time. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to walk you through is, um, um, you know, this is cloud automation. If you haven't seen it, this is what we call uh, the bridge or where we can see the sequence of activities that are being being run. And what I'm going to show in the flow is, uh, so if you're not familiar with cloud automation, um, the way you can define your sequences of, of, of activities is called the shipyard file. So in this case, I've defined a simple sequence where um, in my production environment, I have an, a, a sequence called incident. And what I wanted to do is open up a ticket as soon as this incident is received, do an evaluation, and then go ahead and notify um, you know, folks what's, what's, what's up with the, the ticket, tickets there, et cetera. So um, what I'm going to do just to demonstrate this in my Dynatrace environment, um, I wrote a simple little script to simulate a Dynatrace problem just so it can go quickly. And what this is doing is actually calling uh, Dynatrace API, as a side note, to, to say, send in a problem. You can see it's simulated problem. It's going into my environment. Um, and then if I look inside of Dynatrace now onto my problem screen, refresh. Now you can see time frame. Sorry, I have to change my time frame. Yeah. Sorry about that. Change my time frame. Now this is my simulated problem. So obviously Davis does a is much better, better job if it's a Davis detected problem, but you can see here. For sake of demo, this is ticket 220433, simulated problem. And so let's look in, um, look in, oh gee, it already, it already ran. <laughs> so while I was talking, it already ran the sequence and you can see it ran through that flow that I just described. So the first thing it did was receive an incident and let's drill into the open ticket task. So what was happening is it made a web hook call out to JIRA and there's a, and I'll show you this in Jira, um, where um, it, it opened up my ticket. So let's go ahead and open up my, my ticket. And you can see it made ticket 2237. And this is tied, if you notice here, to my problem 220433, which I just made. So in, in, embedded in it, we can pass along the problem URL. So I'll click on that. You can see I'm going right back to my problem. And, um, and it added all these details around the problem itself. So First of all, how did it do that? <laughs> so inside of Dynatrace, when we configured uh, a problem to be received, it Dynatrace sent in all the details about that problem. Here's all the details um, that come in from Dynatrace in, in a file, including the problem ID, tags, URL, told it for this project. And this is what started my sequence. So it started my incident triggered flow. So all this data um, is in the event that came from Dynatrace. So when it sent um, the request out to JIRA, I'll show you how that was done just real quick. There's a feature in, in, so every tool is different. So you'll have to look at your tool and we're working closely with each of our partners to, um, to document this. And I'll kind of talk about where that's, where the resources for that are gonna be at the end. But when, um, it, what we have here is an inbound webhook coming in. So up, upon calling this webhook, there's a built-in thing in, in JIRA that says, hey, pull out all that payload data and automatically build my, my JIRA ticket. And then at the end, go ahead and tell Cloud Automation through another call that this the ticket got created, what's the issue number, and um, it invokes um, Cloud Automation to complete the sequence. So all that was what was happening between, you know, trigger, trigger this event, have JIRA do the work, and then when it came back, um, this is where the event now contains that individual JIRA ticket all in an automated way. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to, so the next step, what would happen is, hey, let's do our evaluation. So there's a lot of great videos from Andy on service level evaluations, but just if you haven't seen that, I'll just click on the chart. And what 
SLOs is a declarative way to find, hey, this is the kind of metrics, time series data, business metrics, user session metrics that I want to evaluate against the score to see how I'm doing. And so this gets all um, visualized within this view. Um, within Dynatrace, this is all being driven by um, a definition of, of, of a dashboard with the criteria for each of the metrics you want to do. So this is definitely, if you haven't seen this, watch some other great videos from Andy on this whole topic. And this is a uh, really part of the umbrella of cloud automation. Um, so then just to complete the last part of the flow, now what, it, what did it do? It, um, it went ahead and is notifying, um, notifying out that this took place. And I think what I did here is I sent it to a, not a, not a partner tool, but I sent it to a tool where you can see the, 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 what would be sent to a partner tool. So this could be sent to Slack. This could be sent back to the JIRA ticket to update it. But what this is doing is letting you see the actual payload um, of, you know, that, 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 got, that got here. So we can see the, the ticket number from JIRA. We can see the Dynatrace problem card. So this is really where um, this could be picked up. Um, and I think on the, on the previous demo, we showed how this could be a, a whole variety of tools because it's all really driven by um, by webhooks and APIs. That's, exactly. That's the in, the, in the previous demo, I think you showed Slack, you showed GitLab, you showed GitHub, you showed JFrog. <laughs> and, I, and I think the cool thing about this is, and this is why I'm excited about this, a lot of our users tell me, um, hey, Dynatrace has the capability to create, to have a one tool integration, let's say to Jira, and that's great. But I think what we can do with this here is we can really define a process that your organization wants to kind of follow as a problem comes in. Like, Yes, let's create a ticket, but then additional, and this is a very common request, pull in data from a dashboard. Because normally when you are getting a new ticket that something is a problem, you often go into Dynatrace, you look at particular dashboards, you look at logs, but we can fully automate that. That means we can pull the data into or from Dynatrace fully automatically, then take this data, pre-analyze it for you, and then push it as a comment or as additional information on your ticket. So your incident response team doesn't have to go into Dynatrace to open up a dashboard and analyze it. Or you can also pull data from other tools. So we automate the whole thing. And what Rob, I think what you also have here in the overview is not only can we notify people or pull data, but we can also trigger tools like a feature flagging tool. We can trigger a Jenkins pipeline, a GitLab pipeline, where we can, we can do, oh yeah, perfect. You have it here. So many cool use cases that we enable here. Right, exactly. And this is where, you know, we want to hear from you. So yeah, reach out to myself, reach out to Andy, reach out to your Dynatrace team. You know, and, and tell us what tools you're using because you know there's a lot of a lot of tools that you're leveraging that you've made investments in, and as Andy said, we're really you know it's really this this we're trying to help solve you know if you change tools or if you want to leverage your tools better um, or you know start to do remediation type of activities. These are just like examples of the types of things you can do. So what we're we, we call them webhooks. Um, where they can be a kind of a fire and forget type of style, like a Slack message, or they can be an interactive one, like I showed with, you know, I opened a ticket, I want the ticket number back, I have that ticket number to pass on to uh, subsequent steps. So, you know, what we're, what we're, we're leading with all this is, you know, definitely check out dynatrace.com slash hub. And so all of our partners, as we review their solutions and, and, and validate documentation, this will all be available as a, a hub tile. And then you'll have a, a great, you know, you know, support for each of these systems from from our third party partners. And again, if you if you have a tool that you don't see, um, reach out to us. Um, you know, I'm in the partner team, and that's where you know we really want to uh, build out this ecosystem because, as we mentioned in the beginning, you know, cloud automation is around you know tying the DevOps tools, the SRE tools, and then layering on you know progressive delivery approaches as well as you know more uh, you know you know automation around uh, remediations and, and incident management. Mm -hmm. Cool. Rob, thank you so much. And want to just remind people, if you haven't seen the video of Rob showing the continuous delivery automation, then check it out. Uh, and also the other video that is out there is if you want to know more about the technical details on how you can define your shipyard file and how you can actually define these webhooks, how the whole event subscription model really works, uh, then uh, check out the other video from Rob where he talks about this. And uh, all the links, you can find them uh, in the bottom of your YouTube channel or in Dynatrace University, depending on where you watch this. Rob, awesome. Andy. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, we appreciate it. So yeah, we're excited about, you know, uh, 2022. So yeah. thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.